dear students welcome to another lecture in uh, indus industrial engineering and quality control today let us see about um, let, let us continue seeing about the time study so we'll see now what is uh, what are the different uh, equipments that are used for time study time study equipment the basic uh, time study equipment are a stopwatch a, a time study board uh, time study forms and miscellaneous items these are the these are uh, needed for you know can, can carrying out the time study now first let us see about the stopwatch stopwatch i don't know if you people have seen the stopwatch but uh, some years back you know this was uh, very commonly used but nowadays because of the mobile phones and other things most of the things most of the uh, gadgets were replaced by uh, the mobile mobile phones but uh, for carrying out the time study this is uh, essential even now okay stopwatch is the primary device which is employed for measuring the time required by the operator to complete a given job okay see it is a an accurate time measuring equipment and it can run continuously for half an hour or one hour you see actually there are uh, two hands here you can see the larger hand and the smaller hand the larger hand um, you know if it goes one circle that means it has completed one minute see but you know you may be thinking why it is not uh, uh, shown as uh, 60 seconds in a minute but uh, in stopwatch no one minute is divided um, into 100 parts so and uh, um, and uh, such each division is called as centiminute centiminute one whole is a minute and uh, hundredth part of it is a centi minute okay so like that and uh, this small hand you know now here in this dial you can see that it is uh, up to 30 that means this dial can record 30 minutes it can run, run for continuously for 30 minutes you see you now the big hand starts from 0 and reaches to 100 that means one minute uh, ha uh, has elapsed and uh, you know this small one we will move to one if like that five uh, rotations it is made means it comes up to five minutes a small one okay so this is uh, seconds minute uh, uh, seconds hand and this the bigger one and the smaller one is the minutes hand and apart from that you see there are two knobs here one is the winding knob and the other is slide okay so this is how a stopwatch looks okay so here it is uh, written the big hand represents centimeters and the small hand represents minutes okay a stopwatch uh, which uh, you know looks like this uh, it is available in three different types you see one is cumulative stopwatch or non flyback stopwatch that is and this is a simple uh, stopwatch and then we have flyback or snapback stopwatch and uh, uh, the most advanced is the split hand or split second stopwatch these are the different types of stopwatches. Now let us see a little bit more about these three things. First, let us come to the cumulative stopwatch, or this is the very common or ordinary non-flyback stopwatch. See, this stopwatch um, it is used for continuous timing. Continuously, it will work. It won't stop in the middle unless you finish your task. Okay see just by first pressing the winding knob starts the watch and uh, uh, the big big hand starts moving 
pressing it for the second time stops the big hand okay and again if you press it returns to zero you see this is the winding now once you press no it starts from zero and it keeps moving and the second time you press it will stop at that time you should note the reading how many seconds it is moved or how many minutes and how many seconds it is moved okay so and uh, it won't be having this uh, this slide uh, uh, switch okay only the winding now that is the cumulative or non flyback stopwatch but the second one flyback or stop uh, so flyback stopwatch what is it you see if uh, two you know different uh, activities are to be timed and uh, the second element uh, select second activity is immediately after the first activity then the first one the cumulative stopwatch will not be uh, of use but these the second uh, second and third type should be used okay in the in the second type what what is done is the the movement of hands is stopped or started with the help of the slide see the slide is this one this is the slide if you press it it is it will stop and it will start like that by pressing the winding knob the hands returns to zero and starts immediately without stopping you see see suppose uh, you started from zero by pressing the winding now it started working suppose one part is finished then you press slide okay so maybe it has come to this 29 uh, uh, centimeters okay and then uh, you know immediately uh, suppose you know within a um, little time another activity starts and you have to, oh, you have to uh, record that also you have to time that also then what you should do you should put the slide again so it will continue okay like that those two activities can be recorded and if you press the winding knob it comes to zero that's what happens in the flyback stopwatch okay the slide is used to stop the hand at any any point and restart it without returning to zero you see if you want it to return to zero you press the top one that is the winding knob okay if you want it to start from where it is you press the slide so this way this stopwatch works now the third type you no know, split hand type you see this type of watch is more accurate than the uh, the second one the pressing the knob causes one of the hands to stop while the other keeps moving you see from what I understand is it has uh, two um, uh, it has uh, uh, two um, uh, this uh, what 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 is it called this uh, two needles okay two hands for seconds itself for two hands it will have okay when the operator you know if you press once no the operator can take the reading with the stopped hand and the moving hand keeps recording you see you see when you press no both start that means there should be two dials then both start moving at the same thing and if you press again no suppose if one activity is finished and you press okay then one stops and one keeps continuing okay then uh, you should note the time okay once you have uh, once you have noted the time no press the knob again okay when the knob is pressed the second time the stopped hand starts moving and the two hands go together again they go together the split hand is used you is used when more than one element is to be timed suppose one one element is there immediately after that next element is starting without much gap then what you should do is you take this split hand type of uh, stopwatch you know where two dials are there you start and uh, both will start uh, rotating and when one element is finished now you press again 
so one will stop the other will continue rotating so the stop with the stopped one you note the reading and when you finish noting no again press it then both together no that means you know from uh, how the first one is moving like that now the second also will be uh, will be rotated okay like that now this will work okay so if uh, two uh, two uh, elements of work you no know, are um, there together then you can use this this is the third type these are the three uh, different types of stop watches we have seen and then uh, next next we will see about the time study board you see this is uh, you know a simple flat board board means you know like uh, you know the, uh, well, how, what will be the size you know you remember in the schools when you used to go for writing exams you used to have a board you know or pad you can see exam pad okay like that only that you know it, it can be made of um, you know some plywood or something or some uh, uh, plastic sheet or something or any other material okay and uh, you know it will have uh, here uh, at the top center it will have a strong clip strong means you know the spring should be strong it should if it is not strong what happens the pages that are that you stuck underneath the clip now they will fall off you don't want them to be falling off because you want to observe the time properly and uh, to this board you know there is you know there is uh, uh, a provision by which you no know, you can hold the stopwatch here you see with the help of these two screws you no know, one uh, attachment is made where the stopwatch is fitted there why because the person who is doing this uh, time study you no know, who is called time study man he should be free you know one hand, with one hand he should be able to hold these two things what are those two things the stopwatch also and the pad also on the pad you know you will have different types of forms you know clipped okay so with the one hand you will be holding this with the other hand in the other hand you will have a pen or a pencil pencil mostly uh, so that hand will be free to write if uh, your hand is not engaged in the in the uh, with the uh, with the stopwatch okay this is how the study board is okay now next to see uh, about the forms time study forms you see the time study forms no these are printed forms you know already um, standard forms will be there which will be printed uh, so that you know uh, everything is recorded in a standard manner and uh, also the uh, nothing is missing you see actually time study no you can you can record it on the plain paper also but in the plain paper means blank paper means you know for that you for uh, drawing up lines uh, or uh, making up the table and other things no you know it will waste unnecessary your time okay so therefore what you know time study if you are in the time study department is better to print some uh, get, get the things printed okay you can print those sheets and those sheets no uh, can be uh attached you know normally the, what will be the size of the sheet sheet size no it will be our xerox paper a4 size this a4 size which will can which will be fitting on that uh, study board properly okay so and what will these forms consist of these forms consist of you see uh, what is the operation to be studied who what is the name of the operator and what is the name of the time study observer that means the person who is uh, uh, recording the time he is his own name and then date of study that means on which date it was carried out and the place of study where it was carried out okay you see all these things should be at the top of the sheet and it also contains a main column where the element description is written that means you no know, it will have a place where what is the work that is being what is the element of work that is being uh, timed okay there are number of columns ahead of this main column where the time study data is recorded along with the performance rating of the operator you see th these uh, readings are taken uh, not one reading you know if you take you no know, you will take many readings of the same element of work okay 
uh, and uh, and also at the end you will write the performance rating of the operator also see uh, here we we see an example of the uh, time study form you see this is a time study form which is uh, commonly used you see here you will have the name of the department uh, the operation number or it's uh, you know some unique id is there that one and then what is the operation in uh, you know the name of the operation and uh, which on which machine uh, this uh, activity was being carried out and uh, like that you know how many sheets you have used suppose you have used four sheets it can be one of one of four two of four three of four four of four like that you know four sheets can be numbered you see if you simply say you know sheet number one you know we don't know how many total sheets are if you write you know one of four you will definitely know that after this sheet two three more sheets will be there like that then the operator the name of the operator whoever uh, is operating it okay and then uh, the date date of the uh, you know time study and uh, number of cycles how many number of cycles are observed okay you see now the element description is here this is the main column here the element is written like this in this place and then observed time this is taken from the stopwatch reading you know here now some six columns are there you know the same thing you write six, you know you for six different times you take the reading you know you just don't stop with one reading because you know you see one reading may not be accurate you take number of observations and the average of it we can take and here no this rating rating of the worker we have to say you see now what we said said is our person should be working at a standard rate or a qualified worker what rate he is working so this rating no uh, you know uh if that you know if if the person who is uh, making the time study if he thinks no this person is not working at the average rate you know he, he is working slower then the rating will be okay well, lesser than 100 if if he if he thinks no he is working faster than what uh, st standard uh, rating is there then it can be you know like 110 uh, percent like that okay or 120 percent or 105 percent like that is if it is faster no the rating will be 105 uh, 110 120 like that if it is slower it will be 95 90 85 like that you know this is how the read rating comes <coughs> it is not given in fraction it is not it is normally given in, in uh, you know just above or below 100 okay and then the normal time you know this much reading this much you know at that place where you are observing the readings you should take and uh, afterwards you no, know, you should uh, go to your office and you can work out what is the normal time for this uh, element of work and what is the standard time okay see there are three different uh, timings here one is observed time one is normal time and the third is standard time okay ultimately our goal is to arrive at standard time that means you know there are three columns means you know these three are different timings so let us see what are those things okay now apart from these things we have uh, we need to have miscellaneous items you see here now initially i showed you uh, four things a stopwatch a time study board as uh, time study forms and miscellaneous items now we have seen the first three now let us see the fourth one that is miscellaneous items what miscellaneous items miscellaneous means you know the other things other necessary things you know which are uh, you know which are essential though they may not be the most important things like so a small calculator you know suppose you know if you want to multiply something you need a calculator okay a steel rule steel rule means you know scale you know of uh, one feet one feet uh, long scale no, normally it is called a steel rule okay a pencil a rubber an eraser a sharpener you know these are some of the uh, things uh, which 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 may be essential which are essential okay then some measuring instruments sometimes you may need you say like micrometers 
um, measuring tape, tachometer. Tachometer is the one which uh, you know uh, is used for measuring the RPM of a shaft. Uh, RPM means revolutions per minute. Okay. See micrometer. You know if you micrometer, you know knows micrometer screw gauge or vernier caliper you know like that because micrometer means screw gauge okay spring balance spring balance is if you want to weigh something and you know, find out you know this may not be necessary always uh, but you know in some of the work studies uh, time studies you may require these things measuring tape if you want to measure some distance okay then the tachometer if you want to measure some rpm or something okay the, these things you may require these are some of the miscellaneous mis miscellaneous items that are required for your time study okay next let us see about the time study procedure now what is the sequence of uh, things that you have to do what is the procedure okay now first first and foremost will be you have to select the task that you are that you are going to time okay now you are going to study okay see normally this will be uh, told to him uh, to the time study man by his uh, manager okay then what he does is let's see he has to do he has to obtain the improved procedure of doing the task from the method study so this time study man will go to method study department it can be sometimes you know the same department or it can be two different separate departments it depends upon the volume of work how much uh, you know do they continuously be will they be continuously doing uh, method study in time study or you know it is uh, very you know uh, rarely they do is if they are doing continuously then only they will have special people and special departments for this okay otherwise they can you know they can uh, outsource this and people from outside they can come do the work and get paid and go okay so the you see the obtain the improved method first you have to improve procedure or improved method of doing the task from the method study department after you know the, that method you have got it now afterwards what you what you have to do you have to select a operator there are a number of workers out of them you have to choose one person whom you think you know um, is a qualified person who can do at a standard rating okay you know the, the for for you, you know as a time study man you should uh, with your experience you should be able to take uh, select one person among those workers or the operators okay but sometimes you may not have the option <laughs> you whoever if any particular machine is there only only one operator is there then you have to choose him okay anyway so then you record a complete description of the method now you make complete description of the met come you know that means what you see this the methods from the method study department you have got the method the, the that you, you are going to time and you record means you know you write down at the complete description what is the method fully okay after you write down recording means you know you write down once you write the, down on the paper no see this you can do in your office itself you need not go to the machine and do it okay then you break down the task into small 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 number of elements task into number of elements okay Sm number of small elements okay you break them okay into number of pieces you cut it okay and then then no, you can give, give numbers to those uh, elements also you say your method may consist of some 10 elements or 15 elements 20 elements like that also and each each element now should be measured so measure the time required for each of those elements okay and repeat the step 5 for number of observations that means you know like in our chart we have seen here how many here at least six uh, readings can be taken so, so you know maximum of six readings can be taken there okay so this step of measuring the time for each uh, uh, task you know this we can repeat till a number of observations you now we can take four observations five observations six observations depends upon you know how accurate you want it okay and record it in the form 
okay and then afterwards now what you have to do you have to write the rating of the worker also see here you know you have to note the rating here see description of the element and here are the readings for four five six readings then the rating of the worker you have to do okay then then what you have to do is you calculate the normal time from the observed time now observed time are those six readings that you got from that you have to get a normal time okay we will see how to get the normal time okay then afterwards you have to determine the allowances to be given you see each worker should be given uh, an allowance okay why allowance is needed because we are not robots we cannot uh, when a worker cannot work continuously without taking rest or without uh, certain allowances so therefore you have to give allowances because we are human beings okay then you know once you these allowances are given how to give allowances that also we are going to see in detail okay so these allowances once you have given this allowance see add the allowances allowances means in a little bit of time that is the meaning okay these allowances to the normal time to obtain the standard time now the observed time from the observed time you have to calculate the normal time and once the normal time is come you add the allowances to get the standard time okay like that standard time you can get okay now let us come to this uh, the important standard time now uh, now three three, three different uh, times we were talking about one is observed time one is normal time and the third one is standard time okay let us first see what is the observed time observed time is name itself so he observed him doing that work on this this much time that is the observed time observed time for any element any element is defined as the time obtained by taking average number of observations recorded by a stopwatch you see in the stopwatch you are getting you see now are you doing only once or uh, number of times you are doing number of times suppose you are doing five times or you are doing six times okay those six times you now those readings you are getting and those readings will not be same because you know human factors are there you know as uh, so many factors are there you know which will be affecting you see the perform you see the readings will be different because uh, the performance of the worker may be varying changing the material may be changing or the tools and equipments you know they may be changing or okay because of that you no know, variations will come so you will take those readings and you take the average and the average of those uh, readings those stopwatch readings is the observed time okay once you got the observed time so in order to arrive at the almost exact time the observed time is recorded for number of cycles that means you know to get the uh, almost exact time means what you know in some of if just, just take uh, one reading you know it may so happen that that reading if it is if it is error you know all our other calculations will have errors but if you take number of uh, readings no the errors can be uh, reduced you can say like that. okay then the no second is the normal time this normal time is defined as the time required by a trained worker to perform a task at a normal pace you see uh, in that chart we were saying these are the observed times and this is the normal time which an which a trained and uh, qualified and trained um, worker or the operator of the machine he can do that that is the normal time you say how will you get it you see whatever is the observed time its average there should have been one more column here for the average of this observed time okay otherwise you know you take five readings on the sixth reading you take the average of it and and now you have to take the rating rating what did we say the rating say uh, see normal time normal time sometimes it is called as basic time also now you should not you should remember this you know the pick uh, because some sometimes people ask what is basic time sometimes they will ask normal time. okay normal or basic time is observed Uh, is obtained by multiplying the observed time by the rating factor 
you see whatever is the now whatever is the uh, observed time you have to multiply that by the rating factor to get the normal time okay so the rating factor will be either a little below 100 or little above 100 you see if it is the average you know uh, average or standard value it is 100 you see the the speed with which he should work he has worked means it is 100 okay but if is if the if you think that he is working slower than what an average person should be working then you know you can give him a rating less than uh, less than uh, less than 100 that means you can give some uh, 95 if it's five percent slower you can give 90 if he's 10 percent slower you know how will you exactly know 10 percent faster slower or five percent slower you know that that you know you'll be able to um, you know guess by your experience uh, of doing the things okay over you know number of observations or number of days you have worked you know by that you can get it okay suppose if you are feeling that the effective rate of the working is above the standard that means you know he is working a little faster than what you should what an average worker will work then it can be 110 or 105 like that depending upon whether he is working a 10 percent faster or 5 percent faster or if it is 20 percent faster it can be 120 okay so the rating factor is always expressed in percentages and not in fractions now the performance rating you see here is a uh, definition for the performance rating you see this is the performance rating is the rating uh, or a, a factor which will adjust the measured time of an observed task performance to a task that one would expect a trained operator uh, to perform the task okay so th that is the performance rating this is the definition of it now the standard time this is the most important time of all our for which you know we have uh, been uh, you know looking at the other times also other timings okay standard time is defined as the time required by a qualified worker working at a standard pace to complete the given task so any one you know element of work a little small element of work you see that you have uh, you know uh, a, a worker is doing which worker is doing a qualified worker is doing okay and at what speed is doing he is working at standard pace you see if he is if somebody is working a little faster you see he cannot continue working faster like that for an eight hour shift you see at some point of time he will come to his normal pace okay so that's why we, we should not you know calculate um, you know um, our uh, our standard times based upon somebody who has worked a little fast you see average worker that uh, at a standard pace uh, whatever work he is doing okay whatever timing he is taking that time you know will be the standard time okay the standard time is calculated um, for a complete task and not for each individual element suppose you know one uh, one entire one task is there which we have broken into five different elements you see five different elements means um, okay uh, I will talk about it a little later uh, okay so, so you should this standard time will not be for each and every small uh, element it will be for the total uh, total of the task okay when allowances are added to the normal time standard time is obtained see here are the formula here is the formula uh, here the basic time is the observed time the average of the observed times that means those six readings are there no it's average okay that means you have to add those six uh, readings and divide by six then what you get is the observed time and the rating rating of the worker this is the performance rating so so it can be say for example it is 90 and the standard rating will be in the denominator so observed rating into rating upon standard rating rating is 90 and the standard rating is 100 standard rating is always 100 now that's what we want 
but you know this worker worked a little slower so that's why his rating is 90 so 90 upon 100 into observed time will will give you the basic time and what what was the uh, other name of the basic time it is the normal time okay now allowances are fixed uh, as a percentage of the basic time okay if the basic time is this you know some allowances are given what type of allowances will be given and other things we'll study later okay as of now you say that some allowance of time is given for each task uh, okay now the finally the standard time will be the basic time plus the allowances this gives you the uh, the standard time now next we come to elements break down in time study elements are broken down into number of activities any operation any task involves number of activities you see here is the example a drilling operation in is to be done you see for a drilling operation what all small small works are there first you have to locate the workpiece you have to uh, you know you have to locate it or you have to take hold of it you have to take in the hand you have to clamp it on the table and you have to reach it uh, reach to the start uh, to starting this uh, spindle okay and then you have to start the machine and then holding the star wheel and uh, moving it that means you have to rotate it so that the tool bit will come down and you know land like that and then you have to drill it and afterwards you have to release the uh, star wheel so that the uh, the drill bit will go up okay these are all small small activities small small elements of uh, that uh, task okay so it is therefore difficult to record the time for an operation as a whole because it will always vary with cycle to cycle if everything you want to record in the, this thing how much time you did you take to, to make a whole one complete whole you know the, see these uh, every time no that is that uh, timing will be varying okay that's why you know you what you have to do is you have to break it into small elements of the work like uh, you know like this you see like when you are drilling you know locating the workpiece this will be one element clamping the workpiece uh, that will be second element then reaching to the start spindle this is the third element then starting the machine okay fourth element holding the star wheel fifth element moving the star wheel that is moving the bit okay like that you know each and each, each element separately you can time it you know the, the, these these won't take much time times you know these can be you know these some may take you know very oh, just one second or fractions of seconds okay but anyway your stopwatch can record that because you know centi uh, meters centi minutes it is able to uh, record okay this necess necessitates the breakup of the task into elements so that the time for each element can be recorded an element is a distinct part of specified task selected for convenience of observation for the convenience of measurement and for the convenience of analysis so these are the reasons why we break the break down the um, activities or tasks or operations into number of smaller elements now need of elements breakdown why we need okay this is how you know how we break it down now why we break down see to separate the productivity time productive time from the unproductive time is it for that's what you know our goal is to remove the unproductive time so to separate it you know we need it we need to break it into small uh, elements okay to observe the to observe and measure an element conveniently which is small entity which is if it's small entity is there no you can conveniently you can measure it then next is to assess the rate of working that means the operator's performance more accurately okay that is uh, the rating you know you will be able to uh, estimate properly if you break it into small elements that's what they're saying and next is to modify the elements involved in a high degree of fatigue or to allow for fatigue allowances you see 
for fatigue allowances for estimating allowances also this is required then another reason for um, you know breaking it into elements is to check whether some elements should be inserted or omitted in the task if if you think you no know, oh here in the middle some other activity should be done some other small uh, element can be added or some element can be removed okay unnecessarily he is doing okay see that thing also you will be able to uh, check okay then finally then why we break down is to identify and distinguish different types of elements so that each may be treated appropriately you see reaching to a start button you see if this is a small element you know this can be apply, you know this this is an element which can be in any of the machines you see that then, then you will be able to say okay to reach the start button normally so many fractions of uh, minutes will be required you know we'll be able to say so and uh, so irrespective of the type of machine you will be able to say such kind of elements will take so much time okay so for all these purposes now we require to break them down into uh, smaller elements okay uh, okay friends we'll uh, stop here for today and we will continue let's say i think um, this, this this is all about the time study uh, the stopwatch time study and uh, tomorrow we will discuss the next topic thank you